Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson. Today I'm going to show you how to decorate with ribbons and roses. You can decorate all kinds of things. I'm going to decorate this barrette blank and make a lovely barrette for a little girl. I also have some ribbon and a couple of ribbon roses. Okay, I'm going to take the ribbon. I'm, I already cut it with V cuts on the ends. I'm going to fold it like this to kind of make a layer. And I'm just going to go in with a little hot glue and secure that because that's the effect that I want. You can do it however you would like. Instead of tying a bow, I'm kind of making a layered sort of bow effect. See, so it'll puff up like that once the glue dries. Going to go and do the same thing over here. Basically, about the length of where the ridges are in the barrette. Thankfully, the glue doesn't take very long to dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and do another loop like this. Again, securing it with just a dab of glue. If you get strings from the hot glue, which invariably you will, doesn't matter. You can just pull those off when you're done. They will not affect the finished product. I just love these springy colors. If you wanted to do a dressier version, you could use a metallic ribbon. There are all kinds of possibilities. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto the barrette itself, just putting a bead of glue along the entire surface and placing this right on top generally centrally located. Doesn't have to be exact, just eyeballing it is fine. Then I'm going to go ahead with my ribbon, with my uh, ribbon roses and place them on. I'm putting the big flower in the center and two smaller flowers on either side. Whatever configuration you find aesthetically pleasing is what you should do. You may want to coordinate it to a particular outfit for a party or whatever. And there you have a quick and easy way to decorate something with ribbons and roses. My name is Linda Hutchinson. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.